What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 in a virtual machine. And we're going to go from start to finish. I haven't even gotten the Windows 7 ISO yet. I don't know where I'm going to get it. We're going to find out in the video together. So uh, we're going to get all this set up and try it out. Uh, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Todd M. Thank you so much for becoming a channel supporter. If you want to support this channel, click on the join button below to get shout outs and videos like this, or that thanks button to support me directly. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is find a Windows 7 install. ISO. So we could even just search for that. Windows 7 ISO. All right. So we've got a few places. How to Geek has um, a list of ISOs. All right. So we're going to use the heidoc.net Windows ISO downloader. Let's try this out. We're going to open this up, and here we have all these different versions of Windows. So let's go ahead and choose Windows 7, the latest one. We'll select uh, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit and English. And we're going to go ahead and click on Download. And it is downloading in a window. There it goes. All right, so I've downloaded the Windows 7 ISO, and the next step is to download um, VirtualBox. And you're just gonna go to VirtualBox, click on the latest version, go to Windows House, and download. Um, once you install it, you're gonna go ahead and open up VirtualBox. And we're going to create a new virtual machine. We're going to name it Windows 7 Test. And it automatically changed to Windows 7 64-bit. That's perfect. We're going to choose, let's say, about 5 gigs of RAM or so. I know that's not exact, but just around enough to run Windows 7. Uh, we'll create a virtual hard disk. That's fine. We'll use a VirtualBox disk image because we're in VirtualBox and it's the most compatible. All right, so uh, now we're gonna choose our storage or physical hard disk. I'm gonna choose dynamically allocated. And then um, the maximum size we're gonna set it to is let's say like 50 gigs, somewhere around there. And let's create. Great, now we have our uh, virtual box image. We do need to change a few things in here though. Let's go to settings. We're gonna go to display. And we're gonna raise all of this all the way up. We're gonna enable 3D acceleration. We're gonna um, make sure that our video memory is all the way up. And uh, let's go into system. Uh, memory's fine. Uh, these all seem fine. Okay, so the next step is to mount the ISO we just downloaded. So let's go to the storage device. And we're gonna go to where it says empty. This is our virtual disk drive. And we're gonna click on this little icon here and choose a disk file. I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder. And then here's the ISO we downloaded and press okay. Now we're gonna click on start in the virtual machine and it's going to start our virtual machine in the installation process. We're gonna go ahead and click start on this ISO that we just um, inserted. And we are into the installation process. Great. That's pretty quick. Let's go ahead and run through this just so we can get into the system itself. So here's Windows 7. We're going to go ahead and click on Next. Uh, let's go ahead and make this full screen. That didn't help a ton, but all right. Let's go ahead and install it. We'll, we'll install the drivers afterwards that will allow it to run in complete full screen mode and act as another um, OS, essentially. All right, we're going to go to custom and choose our unallocated space. Here's the 54 gig drive we made. And it'll start installing. This will hopefully go pretty quickly because we're on a solid state drive. But we shall see.
All right, so it looks like um, we have finished the installation and it's restarting. So let's go ahead and click on restart now and jump into the new OS. Now we don't want to boot from the CD or DVD, so we want to let this wait and just go into Windows. And we can actually go into our devices, optical drives, and um, remove disk from virtual drive. And that'll get rid of the installation media. So we're actually running on the hard drive now. And that means that the installation media can be deleted from your hard drive if you need space as well. All right, so let's test. We don't need a password. We don't need a product key. Uh, we'll use recommended settings. Next, home network. All right, so we are in Windows 7, but it is uh, very small. So we're going to let it install some of its own updates. And we're also going to install um, the guest additions image. And this is a uh, driver for Windows that will allow it to interface with uh, VirtualBox much easier. So let's go ahead and insert that. And it should show up here. We're going to run this. Yes. Next. That's very annoying. Okay. So we're going to install this. Go ahead and click on install. And we're going to reboot the machine. And this time it should boot into uh, full screen mode and then we can switch between it. And now it boots straight into Windows without any prompt about having to uh, press a CD, uh, keyboard key to go to the CD. We can go to screen resolution, uh, raise it up real high. And we want this to be full screen. So we're going to go to full screen mode and switch. And we are now in full screen. So this is just like as if we were running it on our own computer, but we are um, actually in a virtual machine and everything works just as it would in a normal OS. And if you want to close it, you just drag your mouse down here to the bottom and you can go to machine shutdown. And you can go to view and switch back. All right, so that's it. We installed Windows 7 in a virtual machine and now we can use it um, for all of our testing purposes. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers, and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price!